Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will deploy a Django application to Elastic Beanstalk. We will follow the documentation from Amazon Web Services official documentation and let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. This is the official documentation. It says this video will walk, this tutorial walks you through the deployment of a default auto-generated Django website to an AWS Elastic Beanstalk environment running Python. So we will, in this tutorial, we will do the following, set up a Python and virtual environment and install Django, create a Django project, configure the application for Elastic Beanstalk, <clears throat> excuse me, deploy the site with the EBCLI. Prerequisite, it says we have to use uh, Python 3.6 pip virtually NVAWS EBCLI. So if you would go to your command prompt, then we go to here. So if you will see Python dash dash version, it will give you the Python version. And if you would see your pip version, Just making sure that I have all the dependencies prerequisite to check pip install if you will say virtual env. It says a requirement already available. The latest version is available. I'll do it later. AWS EB CLI EB. So it's all it's also done. So I, I have Python, I have pip, I have virtual env, I have AWS CBLI. So I will set up the Python virtual environment and would install Django. So what we'll do, I would create a virtual environment with the virtual env and would use it to install Django and its dependencies. So the main benefit of using a virtual environment is that we know exactly which packages our application needs so that required packages are installed on the Amazon EC2 instances that are running the application. So, during me, we will inside this directory. I will create a virtual environment name. The virtual in I'm creating a a virtual environment named eb-virt inside my this directory. So it will take some time and it will pick up the scripts and will install it and could create a virtual environment so that anything that would be installed inside my virtual environment would not make any changes onto my computer. It's installing setup tools, pip, wheel, what all is needed to set up the virtual environment and when I will delete this virtual environment, all the dependencies, all the projects that I've done would be deleted from here. After creating the virtual environment, I have to activate the virtual environment. So there are already scripts available. So let me show you the script folder. So this is my, this is my dev, this is my virtual environment, this is my scripts folder. And I have the activate.ps1 script here. So what I can do, I can just go into my command prompt, drag it here, click in here, and I will do this. Or this. Let me check. I'm really sorry. I don't have to. I didn't have to run the script. I just have to click on activate. There is a folder copy pasted. So when you will see EB dash virtual environment and this folder, it means that you are inside your virtual environment. So let me just zoom it. So see, you are inside your virtual environment when you click on activate. Alrighty. So after this, what I will do is the rest of these instructions. So 
use pip to install the django so when you will copy this command pip install the django in the version you are installing this framework inside your virtual environment and not on your local computer click on here show you So you will see that this Django framework is going on. And it is taking its sweet time. I'll have to wait till this installation is completed. It says successfully installed. Great. And it says the Django version we install must be compatible with the Python version on the Elastic Beanstalk Python configuration. So to verify the that the Django is installed successfully, let's write in pip freeze this command list all the packages installed in the virtual environment okay pip. make a note of the one thing that i'm still inside my virtual environment so it says this are installed great now we, we will create a django project now we are ready to create a django project and run it on your machine using the virtual environment Will this video will use SQLite, which is a database include, engine that is included in Python. The database is the database is deployed with the project files for production environments. We recommend that you use Amazon RDS, which is a different service, to to generate a Django application. We are inside the activate already. We will use the Django admin start project command to create a Django project name E B Django. So this is the Django admin command and the start project command to create a project name EBD Django, which is nice. So we will do this Django admin start project. E E B right so it has created a project name edb django it creates a project in site name django with the following directory structure inside your virtual environment and inside this oh script folder so i would have gone here and would have created here okay now you see I have an EDB Django under a EB virtual environment. I, I went into script folder, deleted that and ran that command again. So I have this project name. When you created a project, it created this structure on its own. So it has your init file, your settings.py, your URLs, what you see get I interface, web service gateway interface. This is your manage.py. This is your EDB Django. So if you will edit it, So here in, you will place the requirements and if you would click on settings, added it with Notepad++. Plus plus. It imports the OS built path inside the project like this. So this is the already created. Very nice. You go back here, you go back to the documentation. It says run your Django site locally with manage.py run server. So if you would go un inside your project, and if you would do dir, here is your Python manage.py run server manage.py. So it says, And run your command here. Run your Django site locally with manage.py run server. So Python manage.py run server. So if you would go here. Start it again. It is running locally. If you click here, enter here, go here, type in here, 
the installed worked successfully congratulations so this is a app which is running locally inside my virtual environment how would you install it on your ebs cli so that it will run on your web server and would available through internet now it says configure your django application for elastic beanstalk we have activated the virtual environment run pip freeze to and then save the output to a file name requirement.txt it does elastic beanstalk what it does is it uses il requirements.txt to determine which package to install on the ec2 instances that will run the application so if you are here copy it So these are the logs that they have generated. If you will control C, it will break it. So you're inside Django, so it will pick up these uh, environment and would make the list of the packages to install on the EC2 that will run the application at the backend. Now I will create a directory called dot eb extensions inside this django framework my project now in the dot eb extensions directly add a configuration name this with the following text the extensions i will go to my eb extensions django new file The file name would be oh let me just edit it and would paste it here it is here it is it says this settings uh what wsti pass specify the location of the wsti script that elastic beanstalk uses to start the application application now we'll have to deactivate the environment just go inside this inside this environment click on deactivate so now you are out of this virtual environment now please deploy the site with the eb cli you would add, you have added everything you need to deploy your application your project should now look like this so i my project may not look entirely like this ebd django i have my rod eb extensions extensions inside extensions i have my config file inside that i have another project which is edb django then i have in it pycache manage.py and i have a requirement.txt file which would list the environments now next we will create your application environment and deploy your configured application with elastic beanstalk immediately after the deployment we will edit django configuration to add the domain name that is the later part will will use ebcli as a deployment mechanism but we can also use aws management console to deploy a zip file containing the project content so if you would create it so first of all you need to check like if you would say aws configure by i have created my access keys now i've created my profile i can go back to my documentation i will create using eb init it'll take some time and deploy this it is created this command creates an application so if you would go on to the console and you would go under elastic bean stock it will create an application with this name 
in the US East one region, which is Northern Virginia, EB in it, to set up the key pairs. Let's see how it goes. Because there is no source control setup, do you want to set up a search for your instance? Click on yes. Select the key pair Ashish. Ashish test. Let me check. I will select two. E let me let me not go with this key pair as of now. I would create the environment. EB create Django environment. Okay. So this will create your environment. It will take approximately five minutes. And uh, then you can make changes in your settings.py file to allow your uh, FQDN of your Elastic Bean application. And you would see the same application browsing your URL. So let me show you the progress. Here it is. Created load balancer. Created security group. I will show you this on here. It goes after this is created. I can see my application that is created here, right? And this is the URL. If you will click on it, this is the framework issue that is going on. So, this is how you create it. And now, if you want to delete this, delete it, you will mention. Terminate the Django environment. I will take some time and will delete the environment. And if you see the corresponding environments were created, and it, uh, if you will see the configuration here, it's been deleting side by side to. You would see the instances, software capacity, load balancer, your security, monitoring, manage updates, everything gets created. And if you would quickly go to your EC2 region, it will also get deleted because I have run the command to delete it. See, it's shutting down. this is how it is done please don't forget to subscribe to this channel as cloud chef and i'll see you in the next video thank you bye bye